Kicking off our list at number 10, a 16 foot sea monster. Okay, here we go. I saw this one on TikTok. A lot of users were calling to build the ark after this one was caught and quite frankly, I agree. I'm never swimming again. Right off the coast of Chile, this creature, 16 feet long, might I remind you, it was found and apparently it's a bad omen. To even see this colossal oarfish in the wild means a tsunami or an earthquake is on its way. Good, we love good omens in this house. This ugly lad got over 10 million views on TikTok. He lives in Erica, Chile. Let's see if we can get him verified by the new year. I kind of love him. I love how in the photo too, everybody is in shock. That's real fear in everyone's face right there. They're like, where did this come from? Sorry, what? They all see a Zelda boss just hanging in front of them. Nice. There's one guy in the photo who's like, he has his camera out and he's not even pointing at the fish. He's just like, just completely baffled. Number nine, a long nose chimera. I have a long nose. Nothing like this guy, but pretty, that's all right, I don't know. A Canadian lad caught this next one. His name is Scott Turner and he's from Nova Scotia. Back in 2016, he was deep water fishing and he had no idea what the hell he caught. And to be fair, I, I still have no idea. And I wrote this thing and I'm looking at it. A fishing trawler off the coast of Newfoundland hauled this up. California Academy of Sciences says chimeras are a group of scary fish that branched off from even scarier sharks nearly 400 million years ago. So they're massive, for a reason. They have, you know, they have large cousins. It runs in the genes, I guess. Their genes run in the family. They're all jacked and scary, I guess. Crew members aboard the Canadian trawler in their late 50s and early 60s, they've done this their whole lives, okay? They fished their entire lives. And they've only seen this maybe once in their entire career. Yeah, some deep sea horrors for you on this fine August evening. Hit that thumbs up. We're well on our way. Let's keep it going. Number eight, not a fish. Okay, sometimes you catch something that's not meant to be caught on water or on land. You don't want to catch this one. A hand explosive was reeled in. Yeah, the the guy caught a military you know, one of those. He reeled one of those in. One of those things you use in James Bond, where we always, you know, miss. And we're like, ah, didn't hit him off. The guy reeled in a military explosive, but he kept calm. He called the police. They came in and they were also baffled. They're like, how did you catch this? Did it did it pull? Did it put up a fight? What's going on? How did this hand-sized weapon make it into this little Kalame River? Or when? Zero idea. This is a common discovery in rivers. A lot of people do what's called magnetic fishing. They try and find old-timey weapons. So some European countries actually ban the sport because they don't want anybody pulling an Indiana River. Imagine reeling in something bigger from World War II, like a bigger, you get it, horrible. Number seven, Cyclops Shark. Oh, I love this guy, he's so cute. Back in 1933, Dr. Thomas Hall Shasted explained in an article that the future of humans will be Cyclops, okay? They only need one eye. The human eye originally evolved to see far into the distance, but as the modern human reads, writes, repairs, watches, cuts gems, you know, swipes on Tinder, everything close up, we might just need one eye. See you later, IMAX 3D. Sorry, James Cameron, guess I'll miss that one. While well, this next catch is perfect for that future. The shark with one eye. Is he real? Is he? Help. The Cyclops shark. We saw him in 2015. You might remember him. The shark was removed from a pregnant dusky shark caught by a commercial fisherman in the Gulf of California. Shark researchers have examined the preserved creature and found that its single eye is made of functional optical tissue. So it's normal, I guess, in a way. But it wouldn't have survived the conditions of the real world. Less than 50 of these abnormalities have been recorded in history ever, so... There you go, 49 left to see with your one eye. Number six, ancient antlers. Again, it's odd to find something that's not a fish. Like say a World War II weapon or say some antlers. Yeah, at first you'd think you caught a fish, but in reality it could be the antlers of a 10,000 year old giant elk. Either one, who knows? May the odds be ever in your favor. The shape, the weight, the resistance of the water, I would fully believe that I caught a massive fish. It's like moving around with the current. I'm like, oh, what is this? No, he didn't catch any fish this time, just ancient history. Turns out when you're fishing in a local lake in Ireland, anything's possible. Just don't pull out Nessie, please we don't want to pull out Nessie. Number five, black marlin. Okay, for a halfway point, I need to show you the best thing that I've ever seen online. Everybody is okay in this video, first of all. Just gonna start off by saying that, okay? Great. Back in 2012, a black marlin off Cairns, Australia, jumped and landed aboard the little Audrey. It's great. I mean, I feel bad for the fish, of course, but it's a great clip, check it out. Sometimes you don't have to fish. Sometimes a fish will just appear. A nice 600 pound fish will sometimes jump in your boat. How scary must that be? So the fish jumps in and then throws a seat at another fisherman before going back into the water. How amazing is this? Check the guy out on the far right. He gets his head bonked by a chair because a fish hucked a chair at him. Honey, what happened to your head? Oh, a black marlin hucked a chair at me. Yeah, it was fun. He's like, yeah, I was f***ing with it though. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda deserved it. I deserved the chair, I'm okay. Number four, Chuck Lagoon. This lagoon was Japan's main base during the war, but come 1944, the United States launched an attack, which some still deem as Japan's Pearl Harbor. So now there's 60 ships that have sunken down and there's around 250 planes 
remains all lying in the water. It's a graveyard. So for 70 years, there's been this massive graveyard just sitting in the Pacific, and it wasn't until recently we finally got a good look at these haunting artifacts. Thanks to deep sea divers and fishers. Yeah, thanks for hanging out in scary waters. I appreciate you. I don't like to swim in lakes, so you're so brave. Terrifying. These photos are terrifying. These fishermen have described the atmosphere, filled with, you know, gas mask, bullet, and of course bones, as extremely haunting. Nobody was expecting these artifacts to be that well preserved either after all this time. But photos now serve as a haunting reminder of naval warfare. Number three, deep sea anglerfish. Living at depths of over 6,000 feet, the deep sea anglerfish hunts in complete darkness. We should have never seen these fish, but unfortunately, now thanks to me, you have to. It was first discovered back in 1833 when a Greenland fisherman saw the horror up close after it washed up along the shore. They then took it to Denmark where it was first referred to as the football fish or the man gobbler. Both great names. One's a little fucked up, the other's kind of cool, but both great names. Female anglerfish have a glowing lure on top of their head. It's awesome and it's scary. And it's something I'm glad hides at the bottom of our ocean, if I'm being honest. This light here is created due to bioluminescent bacteria. Thousands of fish have it and the deep sea anglerfish uses it in front of its face to hunt. Yeah, it draws in fish right in front of its massive, scary mouth. That's its main method of hunting. It has to be dazzling because, well, look at it. It's certainly not fast, definitely lacks speed and agility. Plus, living in complete darkness, they have to move slowly and rely on their senses to hunt. And as for prey, well, she'll take what she can get, no matter how big. I hope we never catch another one of these. Please stay deep and stay mysterious. Stay down, I'm good. Number two, an eyeball. Back in 2012, this ball of yuck was found by a Florida fisherman. The classic insane Florida headline, here we go. Go, right on cue. The eye was the size of a softball, and for a while, beachgoers were speculating what monster it could belong to. The state's Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission determined that the eye belonged to a swordfish. And given the straight cuts on the eye, it's clear that an angler cut it out and then threw it like a shot put back in the water. How horrible is that? Awful for the fish, but also, if you found this, that would be so jarring. I'm just reeling in and being like, oh, what's that? An eye. I'm out. I am out. And finally, number one, Valella jellyfish. It's not uncommon to find a jellyfish or two while fishing, certainly not. But what about while you're fishing from the beach? That's a little, little bit odd. Especially when they arrive in, I don't know, the hundreds? These specific jellyfish called Valella are so light that the wind will push them all to shore eventually. How sad is that? Yeah, they didn't make the UFC weigh in, so now they're getting kicked out of the ocean. All they gotta do is eat a little bit more food, that's it. Hundreds of these little guys, three to six times a year, will just get blown out of the water. What a horrible way to go. That's it's like us being blown into the sea slowly. I'd be like, uh, help, please? They're blue and beautiful and only about eight centimeters long. And back in 2014, thousands of these Valella jellyfish washed along the shore along the northwest side of the United States. They look not as great when they're on shore and dead. They look like gross deflated balloons. And again, three years later, thousands more washed ashore again. Little haunting. They're also referred to as by the wind sailors because they have a little sail that pokes above the water, kind of like a shark. They have a little, little sail. And their tentacles will hang underneath the surface. So they're literally go wherever the wind blows them. How cute is that? They have a little sailor hat. Yeah, we had to fit Finish on a nice cute note. A little fish with sailor hats. That's, that's a little better than whatever the fish that was earlier. Yuck. Coming in at number 10, the stoplight loose jaw. Found scattered in the depths of just about every ocean around the world, these slimy black creatures with beating red eyes should have truly never been brought into the light of day. On top of its tiny insect like frame, the stoplight loose jaw also has long, creepy, needle like teeth. But its real claim to fame is that its huge, jaw that can measure up to a quarter of the creature's length. Strangely, there is no actual floor to the jaw, but this is to reduce water resistance so that it can snap shut quickly, capturing its prey in milliseconds. Due to this terrifying swiftness, they are also sometimes called rat trap fish. Oh, and remember those pointy needle teeth? Well, because there is no flesh to enclose their wide hinging jaw, the teeth serve almost as spears to pierce through their prey before swallowing them whole. I'm just crossing my fingers that I don't get reborn as a bottom feeder in my next life because I never want to come into contact with these fish for as long as I live. Next up at number 9, the black scabbard fish. A deep sea predator, this creature had fishermen confused when they first found it as no one could agree what the heck it was. With a strangely elongated body and large fang teeth protruding from its snout, it looks like some hybrid of the alien from the alien 
Arabian movies and an ancient eel. Generally they are found just west of the British Isles and known to eat many different kinds of fish, crustaceans and cephalopods though their favorite is apparently the blue whiting. Now if you ever find yourself visiting France or Spain, watch out because these eel monsters are considered a delicacy and quite often consumed. But due to their diet you run the risk of parasitic infection if not cooked properly. So just think twice before you take your chances or you might be looking like some strange alien creature if you aren't careful. Coming in at number 8. The rat tail. Also sometimes referred to as grenadiers, these arctic deep sea creatures are unlike any other. For starters, they've got giant eyes and big swollen lips that hang from their underside, rivaling even the best lip filler you can get on land. Their head is the largest part of the fish and the body slims gradually as it goes down the tail, giving them kind of a giant creepy tadpole vibe, measuring about a meter in size. Rat tails also have a light delivering organ called photophores found near the rear end, but scientists have no real clue what its exact purpose is, but it's thought that they use the light to search for food in the deep dark ocean. Despite their creepy exterior, they have been known to be found in seafood markets or even restaurants, but as for me, I think I will be steering clear from eating anything described as a rat or a tail. Next up at number 7, the chimera. With distant relations to sharks, these fish are often referred to as ghost sharks, rabbit fish, rat fish, or even spook fish. The strange alien like species looks kind of like spooky underwater robots as they have these unique lines all over their body that to me at least kind of look like pieces of welded metal. Found in almost all the world's oceans excluding the arctic, the chimera are completely scaleless similarly to sharks and on their dorsal fin have a highly venomous spine for protection. And if a scaleless venomous deep sea creature was isn't enough for you. To top it off, male chimeras are known to have a retractable, intimate appendage located on their forehead. Now, if that doesn't scream science fiction, then I don't know what will. In the past, these cartilage creatures were hunted for their liver oil as it was commonly used as a lubricant for guns, but thankfully, this is no longer a common practice. So let's just all agree to leave these creepy robot ghost sharks in the deep sea and we'll all be better off. Next up in our number 6 spot, the wolf fish. This deep sea creature gets its name due to its resemblance to the canine wolf species as it has huge sharp teeth, a strong jaw, and overall predator like appearance. But it is sometimes referred to as the devil fish for its terrifying face. Now unlike the wolf, the wolf fish is actually a lone hunter and in the cold waters of the arctic has evolved to produce antifreeze proteins which circulate in the blood to keep its body functioning in the unruly temperatures. But despite this incredible evolution, the wolffish does not actually have a swim bladder, meaning it has to keep swimming at all times or the sheer weight of itself would cause it to sink. Unfortunately, the wolffish is at a high risk of extinction due to overfishing, so considering that, I think it's best we leave this scary creature in the depths of the sea where it belongs. Coming in at number 5, an unknown car cartilage fish. There is creepy, there is horrifying, and then there is just straight up strange. Found by a Russian fisherman, Roman Fedorstov, we have truly no clue what it is or anything about it. All we can tell is that it's entirely made of cartilage and due to that it's almost completely translucent. The fish has small spiny teeth, small eyes, and a gooey jelly like inside that if you look at it for too long you kind of just start to feel a little woozy. The unnamed creature is truly an oddity of the sea and I could have gone the rest of my life without knowing of this alien specimen, but since I had to see it, now so do you. After its capture, the fisherman took to his Instagram to share his gruesome find with the world and whatever it is, it's not something I ever want to come face to face with in the water. Next up at number 4, the frilled shark. Though it is referred to as a shark by name, it is really more of an ancient prehistoric serpent that should have never been found. It gets its name from the fringy gills along its body and it has been recorded to measure as much as 7 feet 
in length. But the worst part is the 300 tiny razor sharp teeth that line its wide hinging jaw. I mean just imagine that bite. Ugh. Oh and if that wasn't enough, it's covered in tiny chiseled scales that can cut you if you aren't too careful. The mysterious animal is known to lurk at the bottom of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, although it will rise up higher at night to feed before returning once again to its deep dark habitat during the day. But don't worry, they don't swim up high enough to affect your midnight swim. Coming up next in our number 3 spot, the goblin shark. You may have heard of this rare species of deep sea shark, but if you haven't, you are in for a ride. Often referred to as living fossils due to their 125 million year existence, the goblin shark is truly a terrifying sight. And if the thought of a dinosaur shark didn't scare you, to make matters worse, these creatures can grow to be as much as 20 feet in length and weigh 450 pounds. Famously known to have slimy pink skin and a huge protruding snout, it gets its name for looking so much like, well, like a goblin. But contrasted by its huge snout are its teeny tiny little needle teeth. But don't let them fool you, as it can completely unhinge its jaw while feeding. Despite its notoriety, researchers know very little about this rare specimen, as it is presumed to be just naturally uncommon. But truth be told, I am glad there aren't thousands of these lurking in the waters or I may never want to set foot in the ocean again. Coming in in our number 2 spot, Squid Sulcus. First discovered in 2007 by a German research vessel in the southern Atlantic Ocean, this tiny 1 inch creature freaked out everyone at first. Armed with 8 legs and 2 huge tentacles, well I mean proportionally speaking it is only about an inch big after all. The the part that shocked the world was what looked eerily similar to a set of human teeth. It's like something straight out of a science fiction movie. I mean, you can't tell me that it's not creepy to see what looks like a set of dentures on a miniature squid. But truth be told, despite how it looks, it's not actually teeth at all that we're seeing, but small, round, folded lips that we can only see a small part of. Like other squids, it has a sharp beak inside that it uses to catch and eat prey, and to date, it is the only one of its kind discovered. So let's just hope it stays that way. And last up in our number 1 spot, the sarcastic fringe head. Although its name sounds like some kind of bad 90s grunge band, the sarcastic fringe head is actually a highly aggressive creature that resembles what can only be described as a real life demogorgon. Found off the west coast of North America, they are extremely territorial and are able to fully fan out their jaws, exposing a row of razor sharp teeth to scare off and intimidate others of its kind in hopes to get the best piece of turf. The bigger the better when it comes to the mouth of the sarcastic fringe head, but if the sheer size of their mouth doesn't work, they will actually slam their faces together and essentially mouth wrestle to get the job done. However, in a complete 180, it is actually the males that are the care providers as once a female lays her eggs, she will leave immediately and the male will guard them until they are hatched. Whether their extreme aggression is about getting the best home or protecting their eggs, I never want to come near one of these terrifying creatures for as long as I live. The first was discovered by a Florida man, and no, not the one who went around eating faces back in 2012, but just a regular Florida guy who probably went fishing from time to time. Around September or October of 2012, the man, whose name is Gino Govecci, was walking along Palm Pano Beach when he stumbled across something sticking out of the sand. He picked it up and dusted it off, only to realize that in his hand he was holding a giant eyeball and in really good condition too. Kovacki, excited by his discovery, decided to get in touch with a group of Florida researchers to see if he might be able to learn more about the strange abandoned eyeball. However, was slightly disappointed after having done so as it meant the specimen would have to be relocated to a lab across the state. While scientists were unable to determine exactly who the eye originally belonged to, they believe it to be some type of very large fish. However, Kovacci believes its rightful owner to be a squid but perhaps it's something else altogether. With no confirmation of the eye's true origin, there's really no way to know. Up next, we have a catch that is just about as extreme as it gets. In 2019, two recreational deep sea fishermen in Charleston, South Carolina, whose names are not available to the public, made a catch that would set them up for life. 
behind bars that is, as what the men pulled up out of the water and onto their boat was a very large package, which they ripped open to reveal a massive amount of a very suspicious and very illicit white powdered substance, if you catch my drift. The two men immediately contacted the Coast Guard, who instructed officers of the North Charleston Police Department to meet the men out in the ocean until both the Coast Guard and the Substance Enforcement Administration were able to arrive. The package was taken into custody of the administration to be tested and its source investigated. Police later revealed that the weight of the catch was about 30 to 50 kilos, with a street cost of up to $1.1 million. Up next, we have yet another Florida find. They really just don't have any dull days down there, do they? Anyways, the catch, executed by an unknown fisherman and captured on camera by Steve Barkeron, occurred in 2014 and was even featured on the Florida Fish and Wildlife's Facebook page. So what was the catch? An 18-inch shrimp, which now that I'm saying it out loud, I realize is a complete oxymoron. But anyways, the giant one and a half foot long animal, according to Florida Fish and Wildlife, after having examined the photos was not just any regular old shrimp, well, obviously, but rather it was the fast and incredibly strong mantis shrimp, best known for its ability to punch its front feet at a rate of 50 miles per hour, with reports of mantis shrimp knocking out other sea creatures and even breaking through aquarium glass. And considering the massive size of this particular one, I'd say the two men were very lucky that all they received from this animal was a cool story and a few viral photographs. Next, we have another ocean crustacean creature, and unlike the shrimp, which I actually thought was pretty cool, this one just totally creeps me out. This version of a giant isopod, which has been officially named, bear with me, Bathanomus ruxasa, nicknamed Darth Vader or sea cockroach, was first captured in a pair in 2018 by a group of research fishermen off the southwestern coast of West Java, Indonesia, during a deep sea biodiversity expedition. The giant sea bugs, one male and one female, measured in at 14.3 and 11.7 inches, the male being the larger of the two. The large size, as well as their smooth exterior, was what led scientists to originally assume they had discovered a new species. The team also agreed that this discovery was a perfect example of just how little we know about what goes on in the deep sea. A giant-eyed, prehistoric-looking monster brings us to our halfway point today. This creepy creature was captured by Oscar Lundahl, age 19, in 2019, while on a blue halibut fishing expedition. The strange-looking fish, with comically large bulbous eyes and a thin tail, startled the fisher as it emerged from the water. In fact, Oscar claimed that he was so startled, he almost jumped right out of his boat upon seeing the creature. The fish was captured by one of four hooks on the young man's line at a depth of of about 2,600 feet or 800 meters. The fish, which took almost half an hour to pull up to the surface, was later identified to be a ratfish, a distant relative of sharks. However, it looked quite different from ones previously captured in photographs and video. A likely reason for this is the change in pressure levels from the depths of the ocean to its surface. You see, deep sea fish contain fluid sacs within their cells to maintain their form under the extreme deep sea pressure. So when the pressure begins to decrease, the volume of these sacs expand, generally resulting in bulging eyes as well as the death of the animal. A massive sea creature spanning the lengths of over two full-grown adults is next on the list, and it is the giant oarfish, also known as the doomsday fish, as it is said to appear as a messenger from the depths right before large tsunamis or earthquakes. The animal, which is said to have been the inspiration behind many sailors' tales of sea serpents, was discovered washed up on the shores of Catalina Island in Los Angeles by Ali McAlli in 2019. A strange occurrence, as the large creatures are commonly observed trolling along the deep sea floor, so seeing the creature washed up on the sand was baffling to say the least. While this particular oarfish is not the longest to have ever been observed, that one was actually 36 feet long, it is extremely large and quite rare, coming in at a length between 14 and 17 feet. Next, we have an animal that I personally definitely would not want to have caught up in my line. Caught in Port Isabel, Texas in 2020 by Alyssa Ramirez while fishing off 
off of her pier. At first the animal appeared to be nothing more than a pile of seaweed, but upon closer visual inspection, keyword being visual, Ramirez quickly realized that that was not the case. The animal was in fact later identified as a poisonous bearded fireworm. So it's a really good thing that Alyssa recognized the warning signs and did not try to touch the animal, otherwise she would have been stung with a powerful neurotoxin, leaving the area of contact feeling like it was on fire for hours. Up next we have this weird thing captured in 2018 off of a fishing pier in Coney Island by Natalia Vorobok and documented on her TikTok. The thing almost doesn't even look real. What appears to be some kind of alien generated a lot of interest from the public, many excited at the possibility of being one of the first few people to view a documented new species. However, this excitement was dampened when scientists claimed the animal to be a clear-nosed skate, a species of, again bear with me, Cartilia genus fish with a triangle-shaped flattened body and two dorsal fins on either side of the tail. So basically they describe the complete opposite of what Vorobok caught. I don't know you guys, are we thinking possibly an alien cover up? Also, let me know the coolest thing that you've ever caught while out in the water. I think mine would probably be a puffer fish, but I want to hear yours too. Next we have an unidentified furry eyed fish caught during a February 2019 fishing expedition by a YouTuber who goes by the name of Thai Pig Patrol. The fisherman pulled the alien looking creature lined with spines and spikes onto a small fishing boat while strolling the waters of a small murky river in Colombia. Ty had originally set out to find some catfish and was absolutely shocked at what he reeled in instead, describing it as the strangest fish he'd ever seen in his life, with his friend saying, what the hell is that? This is the ugliest creature I've ever seen. Kind of harsh, but okay. Viewers of the video did identify the fish as an albino acanthicus hystrix, a species of armored catfish generally found in rock or gravel bottom channels with moderate to strong currents. And finally, we have honestly probably the cutest creepy thing I've ever seen. I mean, it looks like it was made in a special effects lab, but its legitimacy was confirmed by National Geographic, NBC, and Forbes, along with a few other outlets. The discovery was made on October 10th of 2020 by a group of fishermen after a dead adult shark became caught up in one of their nets. Inside the stomach was three baby sharks, two of which were pretty standard, but the third was anything but. Similar to one found off of Mexico by a group of Indonesian fishermen in 2011, this was an albino cyclops shark. The shark was later turned over to local marine officials to be studied and is also one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Mm -hmm.